Hey guys, welcome. Wait a second. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Samaya. I make videos about faith, lifestyle, mental health, and all the above. If that interests you, please hit the subscribe button down below and become a part of the community. I feel like this is not angled straight, but uh, oh well. Okay, so I literally typed out in my notes this video idea, right? In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how to boost your self-esteem slash confidence. Now, as the year is approaching, this is something that people like have on their New Year's resolution or like a goal that they want to work on for the upcoming New Year. Okay, so I'm going to be giving you guys psychological like explanations. Off the top of my head though, and, and just based on what I know about it, Okay, so before we start, a scripture that I do want to say is Psalms 139, verse 13 to 14, and it says, You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. So basically, it's just saying, or off the top of my head, the way that I remember it, that scripture is for I was fearfully and wonderfully created and my soul knows that very well. That's a paraphrase, obviously, but I wanted to say that scripture because um, I think that it fits well with this topic, like um, understanding that, you know, confidence is not just service level, like what you look like. There are more components um, to self-esteem and confidence than your appearance. It's your entire makeup and how God created you. So, I think that's something that we should keep in mind um, as I read these tips to you guys and as you take what you need from this video. I need this pillow for my back. So, confidence is a component of self-esteem, right? And let's talk about what is self-esteem. Self-esteem is the confidence in one's wor own worth or abilities in self-respect. So self-esteem is dependent upon how you feel about your abilities, your worth, and then that trickles into self-respect, right? So I'm gonna be telling you how to boost, let's say how to boost your self-esteem since confidence is a component of self-esteem. Okay, so the first thing is that this is something that needs to be practiced, right? Um, you're not just gonna take these tips from this video and then, you know, listen to them, digest them, and wake up the next morning and try them one time, and then boom, you have self a higher self-esteem. Doesn't work like that, babe. It needs to be practiced over time. And let me tell you the, neuro, the neuroscience behind it, just a little bit, because I'm not that, not that deep in neuroscience but i said this in the last video but since our brains are constantly changing until the age of 25 we have the chance to create new neural pathways in our brain right so low self-esteem is a pathway that has been created in our brain and the more that you do negative self-talk or have a negative self-perception or feed the negative perception then you are exercising that neural pathway and it's going to remain the same. So, what you have to do is go against what has already been created, which is to practice having a higher self-esteem. This is an activity that I'm gonna to explain to you the best way that I can. The psychological science behind it, right? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're gonna take a piece of paper or a notebook or whatever you wanna use and identify the negative beliefs that you have about yourself, right? Write them down, and then what you're gonna do is start to uh, reshape the way that you think about it. And this is the difference between a set mindset and a growth mindset, right? That can be applied to wanting to have higher self-esteem. So identify the negative beliefs, write them down, and then go through each list, see how you can do the opposite of that belief. People call this delusional, but it's like matter of perspective. That's what I like to say sometimes. I'll use my real life example. 
So this is an insecurity that I've overcame, but um, I used to be very insecure because I was skinny, right? So what I would do was write down, oh, I'm insecure about being skinny. And then what I would do uh, for the opposite is, oh, I'm thick. No, that's not the opposite of that, babe, because we got to think reality, right? You're not thick, but instead you should say, oh, these are cultural standards that I do not fit in into, which is perfectly fine. Like, tell yourself the opposite. Like, reshape whatever insecurity or negative belief that you have about yourself and flip it into a positive. That's not a good example. Let me give you a different one. Girl, I probably wrote it down. Like, what? If you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, I'm ugly, right? Tell yourself, no, I'm actually beautiful and... It has to be something along the lines of uncovering why you thought you were ugly in the first place. Let me tell you, as you're doing the opposite of that, you're going to create a new neural pathway in your brain. And the more that you keep on exercising that neural pathway, it's going to strengthen. And then you're going to automatically start believing the opposite of that negative belief. That made sense. Yeah, we all know or we all have heard that like our beauty is not should not be defined by what we wear, makeup, clothes, how we dress, like it shouldn't be defined by those things. And also, you shouldn't be dependent upon someone else to um, make you feel beautiful or to make you have a higher self-esteem. You should become comfortable with your authentic self. For example, if you're someone that never goes out into the public without makeup on, what you need to do is to force yourself to go out into the public without any makeup on. What this does is makes you vulnerable, like it exposes the insecurity, right? You cannot like overcome or heal what you don't expose. Also reshapes the way that you think about it. Like there's a saying too that like kind of relates to it, but if you do the things that you fear, it does something in our brain to like reduce the fear. So the last tip that I'm going to give you is to finally list the things that you do like about yourself and focus on those. Remember, self-esteem is having confidence in one's own worth and abilities. I would say to just focus on those things, focus on the positive. So I didn't write these tips down, but I do want to say this. The thing that's hindering you from being more confident or having a higher self-esteem is the negative self-perception or the negative perception that you have of yourself. Once you overcome that, I'm telling you, like, what nobody else has to say matters. Oh, also, it's a daily practice. Oh, these are some other tips too. Affirmations. Now, I say Bible verse because, like, girl. But affirmations, affirmations, daily affirmations, of course. Okay? Um, I used to do this a lot, but... I mean, I used to do this when I was, like, really down bad. And then I just stopped. But, oh, I did want to say this, too. Like, this is another thing. If you're an adolescent, like, I want to say, like, between the ages of maybe, like, 13 and even 18. Is that adolescent age? Yeah. Um, and you're struggling with your, like, self-esteem. It is actually, like, research proven that adolescents struggle more with their self-esteem and stuff and they want more validation from their peers and stuff like that but as you reach a certain age like in your brain develops a little bit more you start to realize that what anybody else has to say doesn't really matter or how they view you doesn't really matter and it just something just clicks for you i don't know what it was but it clicks for me too because it clicked for me too because i used to think like Oh, I'm so ugly. Oh, I'm so this. I'm so this. I'm so that. Like, but then at a certain age, it's just like, um, I'm not. I don't know. It just clicks. But if you're an adolescent, you can still do these things. But just know that it won't be like this for the trajectory of your entire life. As time goes on, you just start to realize some of those insecurities do not matter. This is a, I think this is the last tip that I'm going to give you guys is if you're constantly, if you constantly find yourself on social media following like a thousand IG models and people that just don't look like you, 
go ahead and purge your social media or your following list. Unfollow those people because it's taking a toll on your self-esteem and your negative self-perception. But um, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully this makes sense when I edit it because I'm a girl. Watch my other videos, click the bell, the notification bell, and become a part of the community. Okay.